Hello everyone, welcome to my channel please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Spoilers for Thursday, October 24, Laura Encourages Isaiah. Plus, Heather's in shock. General Hospital, GH, Spoilers for Thursday, October 24, Reveal the Big Day is almost here for Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, and Lulu Spencer, Alexa Havens. Elsewhere, Heather Weber, Allie Mills, Can't Believe the News. Plus, Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, does his homework. Here's what you need to know. First, Sam and Lulu's imminent procedure draws loved ones to the hospital. Laura Collins, Jenny Francis, will obviously be one. In fact, she'll have a talk with Isa Gannon, Sawandi Wilson, before the procedure. We believe he's having a few last-minute doubts. In the promo, Laura tells him, if you give her the chance, she will win again. Of course, we know that will be true. After all, the show wouldn't recast the character just to kill her off. Especially when said recast is a familiar face to daytime fans. We'll see if Sam actually allows her sisters to come in to see her. Assuming they care to. Molly Lansing Davis, Kristen Veganos, is definitely preoccupied right now. Elsewhere, Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, and Axe a plan. Since he's worried for Trina Robinson's, Tabiana Alley, safety, he's clearly going ahead with whatever plan to get Heather out of town. Curtis and Portia Robinson, Brooke Care, better hope their efforts to stop Heather don't end up destroying their lives and futures because there is no way Heather would just leave town. So Curtis is clearly going to force her out against her will. They have good intentions, but we think if Trina learns how far he and Portia are going on her behalf, she won't approve. Speaking of Heather, general hospital spoilers indicate she gets the news about her release. Her reaction will be the same as everyone else's so far, disbelief. She'll question whether or not Rick Lansing, Rick Hurst, is messing with her, she better enjoy her momentary victory. Because it obviously will come with a lot of hassle ahead. Finally, Sonny moves forward with Holly Sutton's, Emma Sam Steele. Sort of. Last time, he contacted Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, to discuss Holly's proposal. He'll want Jason to get him as much information as possible and quickly. We're expecting Jason to tell Sonny more about the Africa adventure and Holly's part in it. Because he has to know Holly must have gotten those diamonds from Jen Sidwell, Carlo Rota. In the bustling halls of General Hospital, Thursday, October 24, promises to be a whirlwind of emotions, revelations, and unexpected turns. The day kicks off with an intense conversation between Laura Collins and a troubled Isaiah a young man grappling with his demons. Meanwhile, in a secluded corner of the hospital, Heather Weber is reeling from a bombshell that leaves her in shock as her world threatens to unravel once more. Laura's heartfelt encouragement for Isa. Laura, always the empathetic and steadfast pillar of the community, senses that something is deeply troubling Isaiah. The young man, a patient under her care, has been struggling to navigate the turmoil in his life. His frequent absences from therapy sessions and a noticeable change in his demeanor have not gone unnoticed by the hospital staff. But it's Laura who steps in, determined to help Isaiah confront whatever storm is brewing inside him. As the scene opens, Laura finds Isaiah sitting on a bench outside, staring blankly at the ground. His body language speaks volumes, his shoulders are slumped, and his eyes, though open, seem lost in a distant world. Isaiah, Laura says softly as she approaches him, her voice full of concern and kindness. Mind if I sit with you for a while? He barely acknowledges her presence, offering only a slight nod. But Laura, experienced in dealing with even the most hardened of hearts, sits beside him with a calm patience. I know things haven't been easy for you, she continues, 
hoping to break through the wall he's built around himself. You've been through a lot more than most people your age, but you don't have to go through it alone. Iza's jaw tightens. He's not one to open up easily. His past is a tangled web of pain, abandonment, and regret. One he's reluctant to share. But something in Laura's voice stirs a flicker of hope, a small reminder that maybe, just maybe, someone does care. I don't know how to fix it, Izzy mutters after a long pause, his voice barely audible. Everything's broken. I'm broken. Laura, her heart aching for him, reaches out and gently places her hand on his shoulder. You're not broken, Isaiah. You've been hurt, and it feels like things will never get better. But you have strength inside you, more than you realize. And if you let people in, if you let me in, we can work through this together. Her words hang in the air, offering a lifeline that Isa desperately wants to grab, but isn't sure he deserves. His eyes finally meet hers, filled with a mixture of confusion and a glimmer of hope. You really think I can get past all this? He asks, his voice cracking with vulnerability. Laura smiles warmly, a beacon of reassurance. I do. One step at a time, Viza. And I'll be right here, every step of the way. Heather's shocking discovery. Elsewhere in the hospital, a different storm is brewing. Heather Weber, notorious for her unpredictable nature and dark past, finds herself blindsided by an unexpected revelation that leaves her rattled. Heather, who has always prided herself on staying one step ahead of everyone, is not easily shaken. But today, something, or rather, someone, has managed to pierce her armor. Heather had been lurking around the hospital under the pretense of visiting someone from her past. But in typical Heather fashion, she was also gathering information, staying sharp on what's happening around town. The last thing she expected was to overhear a conversation that would turn her world upside down. As she casually strolls through the corridors, she pauses by a door that's slightly ajar, hearing familiar voices inside. Her curiosity peaked, Heather leans in closer, careful not to make a sound. But what she hears causes her heart to race, and her pulse pounds in her ears. The voices inside are discussing a long-buried secret, one that Heather thought had been safely locked away for good. The details are fuzzy, but the implications are clear. Someone knows. Someone is about to expose something she's worked her entire life to keep hidden. Her mind races, replaying fragments of conversations, trying to piece together how this could have happened. Had she been too careless? Had she underestimated the wrong person? Heather's carefully constructed world, full of half-truths and manipulations, begins to crumble as the gravity of the situation sinks in. She stumbles backward, her hand pressed against the wall for support. Panic sets in, a feeling she hasn't experienced in years. For so long, Heather had been the one pulling the strings, orchestrating the chaos around her. But now she feels the tables turning. Someone else is in control, and that terrifies her more than she's willing to admit. For a moment, Heather considers running, fleeing before the inevitable fallout. But she quickly dismisses the idea. Heather Weber doesn't run. No, she fights. And she fights sturdy. Straightening her posture, Heather's expression hardens. Whoever is behind this, whoever has dared to challenge her, will soon learn the consequences of crossing Heather Weber. She won't go down without a fight and she'll make sure that if she falls, she'll take down anyone who stands in her way. The fallout begins. As Thursday's episode of General Hospital unfolds, the tension between Laura's compassionate attempt to help Isaiah and Heather's unraveling secret creates a powerful contrast. While Laura represents hope, healing, and redemption, Heather stands as a reminder that darkness, once unleashed, is hard to contain. Isaiah, buoyed by Laura's words, faces a critical decision. Will he trust her and take the first steps toward rebuilding his life? 
or will the weight of his past drag him down further into despair? Meanwhile, Heather's next move is anyone's guess. Will she confront those who know her secret head-on, or will she retreat into the shadows, plotting her revenge? One thing is certain, Heather won't rest until she regains control, no matter the cost. As the clock ticks and the hospital's usual hum of activity continues, the stage is set for a day full of twists, emotional breakthroughs, and a reminder that in Port Charles, nothing stays buried forever. Fans are sure to be on the edge of their seats, waiting to see what happens next as these stories collide and propel the drama forward.